Hey guys, this is Evan from Easy Origami, and today I'm going to be reviewing an origami puzzle game called Foldology. This game was created by Afa Yermakov, who was generous enough to send me a few copies of the game to play around with. He also sent me three extra copies, which I'll be giving away at the end of this video. Foldology is a collection of 100 folding puzzles that start out pretty simple and get progressively more complex. Each puzzle starts out as a square sheet of paper with an 8x8 grid. And the goal is to fold each puzzle into a 4x4 grid so that one side shows a dark solid color and the other side shows a completed picture. The simpler puzzles can be folded with a few vertical and horizontal creases, whereas the more complicated puzzles will require some more advanced folding techniques. So let's start with puzzle 5 as a simple example. All of the puzzles are bound together at the top, so you can simply pull off a single puzzle like this. And I don't want to give away the solution to this puzzle, I just want to give you an idea of how you have to think to solve it. And you really have to start by thinking about the final result. We want all of these green squares to align in a 4x4 grid on the back of the puzzle, and we want all of the pieces of this picture to come together on the front side of the puzzle. And keeping that in mind, we want this portion of the picture to be on the front, and we want this grid of green squares to be on the back. So to keep those shapes on different sides, we can create a mountain fold on the grid line in between them. So we're just going to pick up the paper and pinch a mountain fold along that grid line. And we want these green squares to be on the back, so we're going to do the same thing on the bottom as well. So we're just going to pick it up and pinch a mountain fold along that grid line. As you can see, we have our 4x4 grid of green squares on the back. Then we're just going to flip it over to the front side again. And now we need to align these two pieces of the picture, but we have to slightly rotate this piece on the right. So to do that, we're going to add a vertical valley fold in between the pictures here. So we're just going to fold over the right side like this. We want these white squares to be hidden inside, so we're simply going to create a diagonal crease here. And we want to do the same thing with these squares on the left, so we're just going to add a vertical valley fold down the middle here. And once you've done that, then you've completed puzzle number 5. You can see that all the pieces of the picture came together to create this cow on the front, and if you turn it over, we have a 4x4 grid of green squares on the back. This is one of the simpler puzzles, so let's try something a little more complex. Now let's try puzzle number 64. This one is definitely a bit more advanced. Again, you can simply rip off the puzzle from the top like this. And at first this puzzle looks pretty simple. But if you think about it, we have to line up the left side of this picture with the right side of this picture. So we have to figure out exactly what to do in between. I usually start by folding along the edges of the pictures in the colored squares, and then I try to think one step ahead to figure out how it's all going to collapse together. And a more complicated puzzle like this is definitely going to take some thought and probably some trial and error, but that's what makes these puzzles so interesting and challenging. And while this puzzle is a bit more involved than the first one, it follows the same basic rules. Overall, I've really been enjoying this game. You can tell that everything is very well thought out, and the paper is forgiving enough to be folded back and forth a bunch of times as you solve the puzzles. The game itself is only 4 inches wide, so it's super easy to carry around, and I found it to be really convenient and entertaining while traveling. And with 100 puzzles, this game will definitely keep you busy for hours no matter what your experience is with origami. If you're new to origami, I think it's a great game to get you thinking in a new way, and if you do have experience with origami, I think it's a great way to get more familiar with the concept of crease patterns. Either way, it's really satisfying to finish a folding puzzle and see the completed picture at the end. So if you'd like to give Foldology a try, I'll be giving away a copy of the game to three lucky subscribers. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is first, subscribe to my channel, second, like this video, and third, fill out this form so that I can contact you if you win. I'll post a link to the form in the video description below. And for an extra chance to win, follow me on Instagram at ez underscore origami and I'll enter your name twice in the giveaway. It's as easy as that. You'll have a few weeks to enter, so I'll be accepting entries until December 13th. The winners will be selected at random, and I'll announce their names on December 14th in the description of this video, as well as on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're interested in picking up a copy of Foldology for yourself, you can easily find it on Amazon. And if you use the promo code EZYORIGAMI10, you'll receive 10% off of the game as well. I'll post the link in the video description below. I hope you've enjoyed this origami product review. It's my very first one, so please let me know what you thought of it. I'd really appreciate your feedback. And if you end up buying a copy of Foldology, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway, and I'll see you in the next video.